Hey world changers, it's me, Miss McCarthy, with your Motivational Monday episode for the week. I have a question for you. During your math lessons, have you ever heard your teacher say, don't forget to show your work? That's right. In today's episode, we are going to discuss exactly why that is so important. But before we dive in, don't forget to tap that like button and subscribe or follow so you are the first to know when I drop a new video. I hope that you were able to rest and recharge this weekend because now it's Monday. I know Mondays, why do they get such a bad reputation, right? But for real, I used to dread Mondays until one day I thought to myself, why am I so sad and stressed out about Mondays? What if I change the way my brain keeps thinking about Mondays and I choose instead to be pumped and excited? So I would do that. I would wake up and I would say, "Woo, it's Monday. And I tell you what, this little change changed my life. And I want you all to get this from a young age too. The idea that Mondays can be amazing if that is what you choose for them to be. So let's go ahead and bust out our best power pose. So stand up, feet apart, hands on your hips, shoulders back and repeat after me. This is how I Monday. Awesome! So you may or may not know, but I am a math teacher for grades 3, 4, and 5, and I've created a math program with lots of videos, and some of the videos have this song at the beginning called Taken on the Best. I've included the link to the entire song somewhere around this video, but right now, we're going to focus on these lyrics. I pay attention, I take charge of my learning, draw it out and work it out to show my journey. Let's dive in. Wow! You finished that problem really quickly. Yeah, it was totally easy. Well, I, I don't see your work. How did you get that answer? Oh, I just did the math in my head, you know? Can you walk me through what you did in, in your head? Well, I took this number and I added it to this number. And then I subtracted this number. Oh, or did I multiply it? Hmm. I think, I think I divided it actually. Yeah, that's it. Uh, where was I? Honestly, I'm not sure I follow. Well, all I know is that I got the answer of seven. Listen, Herbert, you and I both know that you have a really strong understanding of numbers. But without your work here on paper, I have no idea how you got there. And honestly, you seem to be confused on how you got to your answer too, right? Well, yeah. Okay, so try not to think of showing your work as the super annoying task to do. But it takes so much time to write it down, you know? Yeah, you're. I mean, it might take a little bit of extra time to show your work, but... Let me, let me ask you something. What do you want to do when you grow up? Me? I want to be a herpetologist. Ooh, that sounds exciting. What does a herpetologist do? A herpetologist studies amphibians and reptiles. Oh my goodness, that is perfect for you because you love frogs so much. Did you know that frogs have a unique way of drinking water? They actually absorb it through their skin rather than drinking it with their mouth. That's because they don't have a proper way to swallow like humans do. I didn't know that. Hey, what would happen if I was taking care of a frog? Let's just say that I was taking care of a frog and I gave it lemonade instead of water. Oh, that wouldn't be good for it at all. The high acidity of the lemonade could potentially disrupt the delicate balance of the frog's digestive system. Miss McCarthy, you're pretty great and all, but I would definitely have to leave you like a detailed list of instructions before I let you take care of one of my frogs. <laughs> exactly. Huh? Just like you would take a little extra time to make a detailed list of instructions on how to take care of frogs, it's important to take a little extra time to show your journey on paper when you're working through a math problem. Sing! 
Showing your math work is like showing your journey through a jungle. Imagine that you are an adventurer and you're on a mission to find a hidden location for a super rare species of frog. Along the way, you encounter some obstacles in some rough patches of the jungle that you need to work through in order to reach your destination. Just like in math, you'd have to solve your problem step by step, showing your journey along the way. When you show your math work, it's like leaving behind a trail of breadcrumbs so that others can follow your path and understand how you got to your answer. Math is not just about finding the right answer, it's about the process that you took to get there. Here's why showing your math work is so important. First, showing your math work helps you understand the problem better. I highly encourage you to draw quick pictures of what is going on in the problem. When you break down the problem into smaller steps and you solve each part, it helps you to better understand what is going on in the problem. It's like having a map that guides you through the jungle, ensuring that you don't get lost. Second of all, showing your work helps your parents and your teachers to better understand your thinking, and then they can see where you may have made a mistake or where you might need some extra help. Also, showing your math work helps people to learn from you, which is really cool. By sharing your process, your way of thinking, it allows other people to see a different way that a problem can be tackled. Finally, showing your math work builds your confidence. When you can explain how you arrived at an answer, the journey that you took, it shows that you truly understand the concepts. Remember that math isn't just about finding the right answer. It's about the adventure of discovering new concepts and problem solving. So here is your takeaway for this Motivational Monday episode to show your journey on paper. I pay attention. I take charge of my learning, draw it out and work it out to show my journey. Again, if you are interested in listening to the entire Taking on the Best theme song, click the link below or somewhere around this video. And if you need a safe place to practice and make math fun, make it click and make it stick for third, fourth, and fifth grade math, I encourage you to join me at McCarthyMathAcademy.com. Before we go, let me remind you that you were born with something special, and it's your mission in life to figure out what that is and then use it to make this world a better place. And yes, I mean you. I'll see you next time, world changers!